Hello and welcome to my video. Mr.net is here and this is video number 6 of our Sudoku tutorial. In the previous videos we create this grid, we can mark the fields in the grid, we can insert big numbers in the grid. We have here the information button and in this video we want to implement the, funct the functions for this information button so that we can set big numbers or small numbers in our field here. So firstly we open our script, our English field prefab object and we need a possibility to access all text objects of our instances. So if I go to my prefab, to my English folder to field prefab here, we have here 10 objects. We have here the number 1 to 9, that's, a te that's all text objects, and we have the text for the great number, or for the big number, for example. And now we want to access one of these objects in our code. So for that, I create a new method a public with return value text and I call this method try get component by name and that's not a component that's get text by name and the name starts with try so I don't return a text I return a boolean and as an argument, I take the name or the name of the object, what I want, and the out argument from type text is my second return value. So this method needs a return value from type boolean, so I return false. And also I have to instantiate this text here. Text is null, for example. And now we can access all text object in this instance here. So firstly we try to get all text objects in our instance. So I create a text array. I call this array text and this text is instance dot get component in children but we don't need one component we need all components so I say get components in children from type text and the return type is an array with all founded text objects and then I can iterate through each object in this array current text in text and here inside this loop I can ask if current text dot name is equal like my argument then I found the object what I need so then I said that the out argument here text is my current text and also I can return from this method a true so if this method returns a true, I have here my text object. If this method returns false, this text object is null. Well, I save the script. So then I change the name of my first text object here. I changed it name to value 
then I save this and I go to my script to my English field prefab object and we have here the set number method and this in this method we set the value of the text object what we which we changed the name so I delete this line and I use if try get text by name that's our previous implemented method so if the result is true I'm searching a name a text object by a name and we see that the name of this object is value so I use as an argument value and the second argument is a out text text argument so if I if this method returns true this text is my component and I can say text dot text is number two string so I save the script I go back to unity I open my English scene and I start the game okay I see it works the next thing in my script is I need a method which allows me to set a small number so for that I implement here a public void set small number and as an argument I get an in integer type so now if try get text by name so now we need a name and we see that our English prefab here has the name number one number underline one number underline two and and so on okay so the name what we search is the number underline and a number and this is this number from the argument so if this object exists I get a text object back and now I can say text dot text is number to string well I save this I go back to unity I open my scene and start the game nothing will happen because I forgot something we have to go back to unity and in our English game script we have the method on click uh, click on control prefab and in this method we have to decide if we set a big number or a small number so if the current hover at, hover at field prefab is not null that's okay and then if the information button is active then we have to set a small number otherwise or else we have to set the, the big number so I copy this and paste this into my else block and in the if block I say underline current hover hover at field prefab dot set small number and as an argument I take also this value here well I save the script I go back to unity and now I start my game so I can insert big numbers if I set the information button to active I can set the small numbers one point 
is wrong because I can set small and big numbers and this we have to change and to implement this function or this possibility we open our script our English field prefab object and we have here the set number method and we have the set small number method so and if I as a user set the number I delete all small numbers and vice versa if I set the small number I delete the big number so if I call here set number I use here a for loop I start with the value 1 smaller than 10 so 1 to 9 and inside this method I call try to get text by name and the name is the, the name of my small object so I can copy this line here paste it here now I have two times the same name so I have to re rename this text here text number and if I found the number I say text number dot text is empty string and also if I set a small number I use this line here so if try to get the value here I change here this name to text value and inside this if body I say text value dot text is an empty string so I save my script I go back to unity and start the game so I click this field and insert a big number then I click another field and I try to insert small numbers yes that works and after I inserted the small numbers I want to insert a big number and we see I only de delete one field here so there is something wrong I go back to my script and yes that's my error I don't need here the number argument I need here the I argument for my from my for each loop so I save the script I go back to unity and I start the script I insert a great number, a big number, I insert small numbers, then I try to insert a big number, yes, all small, small numbers are, are deleted, and then I want to insert here a small number and we see that the big number is away. Well, that's it with this video, please give me a feedback or subscribe my channel and hopefully I see you in the next video and bye.